Hi guys, Mr. Matt here. Um, I am at school today. I'm going to be packing up artwork and um, do, here to do a quick demonstration on that last lesson I sent out to you guys about Notan art, which is Japanese for a harmony between darks and lights. Um, so it's a pretty cool uh, idea. I just have two square pieces of paper. I've got a, a, a black piece of paper that's six inches by six inches, and then I have a white piece of paper that's 12 by 12, so it's twice as big. I'll put that in the middle like that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop this, change views, and zoom in, and show you a close up on how I would approach creating one of these. Okay, so I have my uh, black piece of paper here, and I'm going to use white color pencil so you guys can see what I draw on here, but I think the first thing that I want to do is I want to center this black piece of paper inside the white piece of paper. And for this I'm going to use a regular pencil, but what I want to do is I want to get it so it really looks like it's in the middle. I'm just going to eyeball it. I'm not going to get a ruler or anything. I'm just going to make sure it looks like it's in the middle, and that does. And I'm going to mark the corners here with a pencil. Just lightly, don't press hard. And that way, when I, I can take this away and I know where it was, I can just put it back and line it up with the marks. And it's gonna work there. Um, so now that I've done that, I'm gonna take my white pencil and I'm gonna draw a shape that's, and I'm not gonna draw it from the corner, but it's gonna go into one of these sides. And I think I'm just gonna do, um, I'm gonna do this like a, I don't know if it's just an abstract. Go in, curve out, and I'm gonna have this back. Kind of do that. It's kind of neat. And then I'm gonna do another shape on the inside of that. I'm gonna kind of follow that curve. That and I can maybe do that one more time. Okay. Now I'll show you. I'm going to do this one piece at a time, so I don't have a huge cluster of uh, of cutout shapes. But I'm going to take my scissors. I'm going to cut out the first line that I drew. Now when you do this, you'll be saving all your pieces. Nothing gets thrown away from this. You're going to use all of these. And one more line on the inside here. Like this. Like that. So now what I do is if I position this back where it was, this first one that would have been in there, I'm going to flop that out, and that's now going to be there. Some of these might go off the edge of your paper like mine. That's okay. I'm not really worried about that. Um, now this inside part, I could actually I could glue that down. I could glue that piece down. I have made sure my black paper is lined up. I'm not going to glue the black paper, the big black paper down because I need to pick that up and cut more pieces out of it. But this piece I can. So I'm going to take this and just put a little glue stick on the back of it. And I'm going to line that up so it's a mirror image of what was cut out, but it goes outside the square. Now the next layer that would have gone in 
here is going to be inside like that. So I'm going to put glue on that. And I'm going to put that, line that up perfectly right there. And press that down. There. Now I just have this last inside piece that really would be have been here, that's gonna flip over and be there. Now, so I wanna put glue on this side of that. And line that up where it needs to be. Cool. All right, so I'm gonna stop the video and I'll bring it back and show you how I would work on the other sides of this. This part's glued down. I can pick this up and do more. I know where it goes because I have my corners marked. Okay, so what I did is I went ahead and drew all of my shapes that I want to cut out ahead of time. Um, that way I can just do the cutting and gluing. Um, so I'll show you one of these. I'll do, uh, I'll do this thing over here. So I got these cool curvy shapes. Now you could do this representationally. Some of the examples I, I sent on the Word doc I think have things like hearts. You could do light bulbs. You could do plants, flowers. You know, and you can do anything you want with this. It's kind of a cool, and you can do more than one. It's all you need is a couple pieces of paper, some scissors, glue. You can use a regular pencil probably to draw your shapes. You can, I'm sure you can still see that on a black paper. Um, and if you don't have black paper, if you just have a dark color paper, it doesn't have to be black. It can be a purple or a blue on white. So then if I wanted to figure out how that's going to go, I could line up this with what, where it belongs, make sure my corners are lined up. And then I know that this piece has to go out here, so I can put glue stick on that. Attach it. Oop, let's make sure this is lined up so I get it right. to look good you do want to make sure things are lined up which is a little bit of a chore but there looks pretty good there all right so now that I got that stuck down I know that this circle Oops, that's upside down, isn't it? Let's try that again. That one? Yes. That is correct. I think. No, that is wrong. I glued the wrong side of it down. I put the glue on the wrong side. See, even the teachers make mistakes. Well, I'm going to flip it over, and hopefully that glue stick dries clear so you won't see the glue on this side of it. All right, I'm going to stop this video. I'll bring it back when I have this complete and show you the finished product. Okay, guys, I got everything all cut out and glued down. Um, I didn't want to throw you guys for a loop with giving you a project that has materials in it that maybe you don't have at home. Try to keep it simple with just dark paper, light paper, um, scissors and a glue stick or glue bottle. Hopefully you have those things at home. 
but I wanted to do something a little different than drawing, and I think it's a really neat idea where you just expand the square. You just have this simple black square, and just by drawing and cutting, you can create this pretty cool artwork. Um, I learned some things by doing this. Maybe I would not cut so far into the paper to make sure that the shapes I flip are outward, don't go off the edge. Um, and then I could decide how I want to turn this, how I would like this to be displayed. I'd like to, it to look clean, so I'm not going to sign it. Maybe if I mounted it on a larger piece of paper, I could sign and date it. Um, but I'm just going to leave it like that. It's, it's kind of fun. Anyway, um, you guys stay healthy. Is that in the shot? Yep, yeah, okay. And uh, we'll see you soon. All right.